Hey guys, Armor Gun here today with another episode of the Ultimate Gun Room, this time discussing the great gun walls. So there's a lot of benefits and applications to running your own gun wall. I'm going to cover those things today, including one sneaky little benefit you might not have thought about, which is the additional security they provide. Application depending, of course. And to best do so, I will show some of the different setups, or I guess maybe the goal of each wall. I've, I've got a few different setups uh, for different purposes. This one here is a combination of uh, display, but also to conveniently store a lot of firearms. I mean, <laughs> that's a wall that's got like, I don't know, you can count, someone can count how many guns are on this wall and put it in the comments below. But apart from just storing them and simultaneously displaying them, they're also all incredibly accessible. I can walk right up here, grab this right off the wall. We are clear by the way. And here it is, a firearm right in my hand. Ready. I mean, unloaded, but essentially ready to go. Try doing that in just about any other form of store. I mean, if you have racks against the wall, okay, sure. But that's kind of the same thing, and you can do that with these guys as well. So guys, we'll start with my definition of a gun wall, which would be a wall suited for the efficient storage, display, and organization of firearms while allowing for easy access. Along with a little footnote that it, they also look especially badass. But anyways, guys, we'll cover each one of those in turn. I'll show you some of my other wall setups as well. In this case, that's a wall basically dedicated to my DMRs or sniper rifles or semi-automatic sniper systems, whatever lingo you prefer. And we've got more of a bulk storage and admin station back here. So we'll kind of cover, we'll kind of cover all that. We'll get to that throughout the course of the video. Now, as you can clearly see, I've chosen Gallo Tech and that was done very carefully. Now, at a time, I was actually considering building my own gun wall because I thought that would be a fun project. And uh, so I did a lot of research into everything that was out there, trying to get ideas and, and kind of see what was best and how I would want to design and make my own wall. In the end, I realized that uh, Gallo Tech had pretty much checked all my boxes and they had also just come up with this really sexy brown color, which I uh, kind of fell in love with. And I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. And I never looked back. Now, another big reason I love Galotech is their use of hybrid materials in their walls. So they have steel hangers. These things pop on super easily into their little uh, keyhole style peg right there, right in, boom, you're in. But the part that contacts the firearm, HDPE material, and that is very strong, but it will not mar or scratch your finish. And I really like that. They also all have the provision to be locked down. There's a little pinhole in the back of just about every mount, so you can secure it directly to the wall if you so choose. I like to leave mine all floating because I'm constantly moving things around for different videos and different displays and just for personal choice. I like switching things up. So I like keeping things flexible. If I needed to, I could lock it down. They have locking mounts as well. So if you want it, if you're in a display somewhere, you want to lock something in, you can not only clamp the mount to the wall, you can also lock the pistol or whatever to the mount. Another reason I chose Galotech is because they're their base, their structure is metal. This is 14 gauge steel. And if you're gonna create a, a whole room such as I have, now there's various levels of security for this room, but I figured choosing a metal wall would also benefit. If I'm cladding a lot of the wall, especially the points you'd access the room from, or you to get through all of the other things, that's still the last line of defense. And I mean, it's, that someone's gotta cut through that or bash it out or whatever. But if, again, if your wall is already solid, there are basically a mounting point every just about half inch on the actual substructure that holds the wall up. So you can, you can get those things on there pretty damn secure. And then there's the fact that it's super easy to install this stuff. It goes up incredibly fast and it's friggin' strong. Case in point, this Lottie L39, this thing weighs over 110 pounds and it's just chilling there. And right below it, we've got a Maw Deuce, which is like over 80 pounds. Again, just chilling. I have a ton of weight on a couple of these individual wall panels and they're rocking it like a champ. So I have full confidence in everything I could throw at or on this wall. It's gonna stick. All right, guys, so first up, display. Well, let's pop the camera out and get the full picture. There's, there's a lot going on here. I've got a freaking 20 mil anti-tank gun from World War II, along with a Maw Deuce with a little uh, Scorpy Scorp Clob. I ran out of room on the wall, so I just started putting guns on top of other guns. 
But at any rate, this is a pretty diverse display. It's kind of not really themed on, on anything. I mean, from an anti-tank rifle to a gold Galil to an RPG-7, it's kind of it's kind of got no theme, but uh, but I'm enjoying it. And you can certainly expect it to be switched up in future content for different themes, such as World War One, World War Two. In the past, I've done you know all the German guns I have. I've, I've used this wall in the past because that wall back there is brand new. I've done popular Americana guns, and the latest setup, which has kind of just remained, has again been this uh, sassy setup. So for display, because if this is going up in your man cave or your gun room, whatever, if your primary purpose is to display, well, you guys can be the judge. But in my mind, this is a hell of an upgrade to your OG pegboard. Next up, storage. Well, again, this, this wall right here, I guess for, for reference, is six feet tall and 12 feet wide. And again, I could get a little more utilization out of it if I wanted to, I could get rid of the your body armor over there and I could put more guns there that could go you know kind of to the admin station if you are a gun store looking for additional organization or any type of armory looking to again store a bunch of things a little more efficiently well there are tripled up racks like this that allow you to get more there are similar racks of this nature that kind of fit on the ground that kind of bring things out in a little triangle shapes so you can get a lot of again guns displayed nicely or kind of organized in a rack quite well or you can just go on full rack mode and uh, just line them up side by side by side. There are base pedestals here as well, should you require those. But realistically, they all just fit in there and you can go pretty tight and you can do a second layer and do the same thing. You can also get various A-frame carts, whether they're rolling or stationary. I've got one of those coming as well and I'm very excited because that's gonna make reorganizing things, pulling things in and out of the safes that much easier. Well, save me for throwing everything on the floor, which honestly looks pretty immaculately clean right now. I think I can count the number of guns actually on the floor on uh, probably just one hand for change. Oop, don't forget the little AK in the corner, little Yugo. But uh, yes, very efficient storage. And suffice it to say, I think the access again is pretty great. From the wall to my hands, super, super fast. And uh, also this is an unconventional use of these mounts. And I found that that's where your creativity can make this, uh, this quite endless. These right here are their hybrid horizontal hangers just for regular rifles. So that's how I got this APC-308 slung up here. But for the G36 with its exceptionally eccentric carry handle, these work just too well to ignore. Pistol hangers are quite nice. They have a few different varieties, whether these hybrid mounts or you have just the peg mounts. There's also ones that angle out, or I think even come straight off. That way you can just really nest in a whole bunch of guns. But the wall isn't just good for storing guns. It's great for storing accessories as well, such as your hat collection, or, you know, more significantly, various mags. Well, I typically keep my, you know, my AR standard go-to things like AR-15, AR-10, mags and such in one of the drawers of my tool chest. Like, it's, just, it's just bulk, they're all the same. That's fine, that's good. I'll lots of times put specialty mags up here, like stuff I've only got a handful of, like Galil mags, Valmet mags, things of that nature, M14 mags, stuff that otherwise kind of disrupts the homogeneous nature of, well, storing things that are all the same. It just tends to work better, stuff stays cleaner, less cluttered. Or if you want fast access to certain things, again, put them in a little pouch on the wall and hide them with a hat. And to a degree, some of that I've done here. These are mags I use more commonly. I've got some Lancers, I've got some Surefire quad stacks, some G36 mags, Air 10s, Air 15s, and some pistol mags, my little FN 509 Tactical. But those guys are all right here and nice and handy. Also, when I get into my gun room, there's other things that are right here as well. Got a G-Shock watch, got a little box cutter, I've got some dummy rounds up there. It's, uh, it's kind of just handy to organize that stuff. And I got some more fast access mags up top here as well. I kind of find keeping them up and out of the way to be a little more useful. But stuff I use a lot of, it's just right there, easy to get, and I like that. And now for web gear and stuff, kind of again in an admin area, I've got a little bit much stuff here. I've got some sweet shorts from Kilo and Warm Fuzzy. Gotta love that frog cam. What else we have here? We got scope cover, air armor tech. I've got a plate carrier, HRT tactical. This is a really, really nice kit. I have another plate carrier that I have my filming rig set up on for my POV style shooting videos. Another roadie chore coat from again, Kilo Tactical. Pretty slick and I'm hanging these things on magwell hangers. They work pretty nice as beefy coat hooks or you can use 
these other beefy coat hooks if you want. I've got a few more mags in behind. More stuff falling down. I have some, some just pouches for the HRT plate carrier. Nice old backpack that I kind of use very often. So it's just kind of handy to have sitting right here. Some UF Pro, some plaid. Dixon's always the bomb, slings, and then the guns. The best part of any gun wall. I've also got some extra panels back here. And so that, I'll tell you about that. I guess may as well do it right now. Um, when I went to the SHOT Show booth from, for Galotech in 2020, they had this really cool setup. They had a mitered section. So basically the wall came up and then it 45'd out to meet with the ceiling all across the top, and they had these new 45 degree brackets. I actually got one here as a, as a last ditch backup in case the Lottie ever fell uh, like this, but it's meant to go into 45 and just nestle your gun in there. And my idea for this wall originally was also to do a 45, but then I decided it would look even cooler if I floated it. So my plan is to get some hardware and then mount panels off the wall floating all across the top here and we'll make use of this, you know, 20 inches or so of space up here. And I can just have a solid row of paneling up there that I can hang guns on. All right, that's gonna look really slick. Anyways, guys, there you can see a lot of different ways of using this wall. I have one more bonus way for you. Office organization, this thing is super handy. Got a little resting spot for pens and papers. Sometimes I throw my mouse up here if I want a clear desk space, a pocket knife. Sticky notes, sticky notes are like my best friend. Some audio recording gear, hard drive, headphones, some good knowledge. Thanks to my buddy Patrick for lending me that. I need to find my own copy. And if you wanna get your screen up and out of the way, my additional screen, I usually just plug in my laptop and then go. So that's pretty handy. I've got one of these things recently, though the buggers made it crooked. This thing is crooked on here. They were like, oh, enjoy your handmade, handcrafted award. Well, I get out of the box and the uh, play button. Oh, you can almost see me. Hey guys, what's up? But they uh, sadly, yeah, we made it crooked. It is what it is. Maybe it's just a shot at a gun channel. Who knows? Still was low key excited. Yeah guys, if your wife is cool with it, don't be afraid to incorporate Galotech around the house. Lots of places where this stuff just comes in amazingly handy. I'm still looking for other spots to throw it in my house as well. Guys, for your casual interest, we'll now go through the full wall and just, uh, you know what, maybe there'll be bonus content. Maybe I'll do running through all the guns on the wall as a short follow-up to this thing in like a week. I think we're gonna do this because this video is already gonna be kind of long, so we'll leave it at that. And in that video, I will show you guys all the specific mounts used for each thing as well. Guys, let me know in the comments below what your ideas would be for me to do more things with this wall, more ways to display guns, more gun themes in general, and maybe just some setup ideas you guys would like to see me do. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next one. Arm and Gun, out.